Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Susan Ewa, the platform where we speak truth to power. You're looking at a video of um, a scene in Benue where our resources, we don't know exactly which ones, I think there's some lithium or something, are being on there's a long line of truck you can see in the middle of the picture there where our minerals are being taken out of the country. The question we want to ask the Minister for uh, Mineral Resources, uh, 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 for Solid Mineral Resources, Mr. Henry Dele Aleke, Alake, uh, is um, what is he doing about this? Why is he allowing our resources to leave our land? The best way for us, the government has recently stated that they want us to become a manufacturing base. You do not become a manufacturing base by allowing, by allowing a third country, China, a, second, um, a, a, a foreign country, to take, have direct access and take our resources, you know, all times of the of the day, every hour, the man said, and you know, and, and export it. How much is it being sold for? Are we getting value for money as as a nation? Shouldn't we be producing our own stuff? We should be produce, producing finished product that they can buy from us, not us selling, t t getting our uh, selling our our min uh, solid minerals on the, often on the cheap and then buy imported goods at expensive prices. It doesn't make economic sense. We need to put a stop to this. Watch this video. Please leave a comment. Don't forget, subscribe to Citizen AY on YouTube. Hit notification button. Um, here we go. Subscribe to Citizen AY on YouTube. Hit notification button. And of course, give us a thumbs up. Help us reach more people. Today being the 26th of March, 2023. I'll just make some adjustment quickly on that um, as I speak to you. And this is um, a hot of the press information that I thought we need to really uh, bring to your attention. Um, please do share when you get it. We are asking the Minister for uh, Solid Mineral Resources, Mr. Dele, Mr. Henry Dele Lucky, why, what is he doing about this? We shouldn't allow for our resources to be taken at dirty prices. We need to become a manufacturing base. S exporting our resources at yeah. dirty prices, cheap prices like this, will not make us a manufacturing base. He needs to address this. We're calling on Tinubu government to address this because it's in the interest of our people, we of the nation, of to be able to have roads, water, light, schools, bridges, healthcare, safety, security, and so on and so forth. This impacts that directly. So please, when you get this podcast, please do share. You are, of course, watching Citizen AY, the platform where we speak to the power. Let's watch. This is what is happening in Benue. This is the level the Chinese people are raping our economy here in Kwande. And this is on daily basis. This happened on daily basis. What they are taking outside, nobody is aware yet. Because there's nobody to check what they are conveying out, what they are carrying out, and where they are selling it, and the value of what they are carrying. The entire state is just looking at these people and what they are doing. This is the level the Chinese people are raping our economy on daily basis. This is what they pick out of only quantity local government on hourly basis. And nobody is looking at this. We don't even know the value of what they are carrying out of this place. We don't know the content of what they are carrying because they did not allow anybody to take analysis of the natural resources they are taking out of the local government. And this is so appalling. It's so alarming that they are doing this on a daily basis. Taking this to China on a daily basis. This is what is happening in Benue. This is the Chinese people conveying mineral resources from Benue State, Kwande local government, down to Lagos, exporting this on a daily basis. There are more than 30 to 40 trailers coming out of only Kwande local government on a daily basis. This is, what the, this is what is happening, and the government needs to be aware. And we need to know the content of what they are carrying out of this place. This is so, so terrible. This is terrible. They have more than 20 trucks just this morning in Edipo Market today. Edipo Market today. Edipo Market. Conveying this on a daily basis out of this local government. This is what is happening. This is what is happening. 
our government is time to I think citizens, you need to people in your who are enlightened are supposed to be aware to of this. In your because what is happening here is beyond what we are seeing. Don't just sit by and be looking. Participate. Well done to this. This is Kwande local government. I do for this morning. We don't know, we don't even know the content of what they are carrying outside. They are doing this on daily basis. Look at them. Look at this. This is... This is Adiko this morning. This is Adiko this morning. Evacuation of raw materials to Asia on daily basis. This is Adipo this morning. Content of lithium, capitalite, gold, everything. Okay. Carrying it out of this place. See? In Benway. This is Adiko. Or uh, Adiko. Headquarters of Kwande local government. Let me just uh, check. And this is only Adiko. Jatoka is Adiko. there, Oboma is there, all these places are there. This is just Adiko this morning. Adiko or Adiko. It's so alarming. So, thank you to the guy who brought this out and who shared the video. And we need to put it on blast. Our minister, our president, all of them. Now it is your opportunity to participate in your governance. Because if you do not speak up, the road you want built in your community will not be built. Because those money that could be made, the millions that could have been made, of Naira could have been made, or trillions of Naira could have been made, in producing finished products and creating jobs is being taken out of the country. We need to participate. Do No longer should you be a bystander. The government says, Section 14.2c states, sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria from whom the government, through this constitution, derives all its powers and authority. You have that power. It is time to exercise that power. It is no ifs, no buts, no excuses. We must exercise that power. Let me just show you on the screen and I'll read the second one to you as well. And because we need to take collective action, it is no longer satisfactory for us to be bystanders while they loot our resources. You have the power to question your governance. Begin to use it. I'm doing this in English because it is in Benue. I don't know the Benway language, but I will probably do something in Yoruba as well to make us aware. So we want Dele Alaki to do what? To look into this matter urgently. He's the Solid Minerals Minister. Mr. Henry Dele Alaki. I don't like it. Mr. Dele Alaki is the name I prefer. Henry is a, it's an English name. I'm not interested in that. I want in Nigeria, in Yoruba land, we must begin to put our own names first. Even putting the name Henry De Alake there, you are, it's a showing our sign of our enslavement to the colonial masters. We should not be answering to any foreign name. We should be answering to our Yoruba name. But that's another issue. Now, let us look at this issue now. Please, what we've shown you, you have the right to question your government. Because what? What? You are sovereign. Sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria from whom the government, through its constitution, derives all its powers and authority. I keep saying this and I'll keep reiterating it till many of us begin to get it. So because of that power, as a sovereign, you have the right under Section 14 to see the participation by the people in their government shall be ensured in accordance with the provisions of this constitution. You have the right to participate in your governance. Indeed, you must. Yeah. Because if you don't, you see the trucks that are going here, they are taking away, the Chinese are taking away the resources meant for you to be able to have a good life. So you being quiet in the face of this, this um, uh, daylight robbery and extraction of our resources illegally, it's going to harm you and your generations to come unless you begin to speak up. Start getting used to speaking up for your rights. In your language, in English language, 
hold your governors to account because they are there to serve you because you are a sovereign and you have the power to hold them to account. The participation yeah. by the people. By you part by you questioning your government, you are participating in your government. By you questioning the minister and uh, whoever is elected or appointed, you are fulfilling your role as a participant in your governance. When you uh, when you remain quiet, you are not participating in your governance. Your quietness means that you are not participating. You are just watching what is being done to you. It is time for you to participate in your governance. Please, share this video if it resonates with you. You are, of course, watching Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. I'm sorry I'm raising my voice, but we need to begin to take collective action. We also need you guys to share this till it gets to Mr. Henry, and uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dele Alaki. He has to get to him. He has to organize to, to rapidly roll back whatever agreement is had, you know, um, signed with uh, that's been signed with uh, with with uh, uh, sorry that's been signed with uh, 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 um, with, with China. It is not in the interest of we the sovereigns, because if the resources have been taken out, and then we will now say in a few months we will have go try and find money to buy finished products. We can do finished products. We need to be a manufacturing base. Let us don't 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 just use words. We need to see proper action back in it. That must mean we must stop all resources leaving our land. We need to make sure that we have a manufacturing base. The manufacturing base will create jobs for our people. We will be able to fund their lives, their lives. And also, we will now have funds to build the roads, the water, the light, the schools, the bridges, the healthcare, and so on and so forth. Because now we are now self-sustaining. We have the resources. It is time for us to have the manufacturing base. Over to you. Um, Dele Alaki, we need you to take urgent action on this. On, on, on this. Please, when you get this broadcast, make sure it gets to Mr. Dele Alaki. This is totally unacceptable. We cannot have allow our resources to be going. The oil, what has been going? We we are sending our oil all the way to North Korea for them to process it. When we can process it back uh, ourselves in Nigeria, but there are systems designed to prevent us from pro processing our own resources, and it is impoverishing our own people. We can't be silent. Yeah. You, the citizens, I'm urging you, Section 14 to a state, sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria, from whom the government, through this constitution, there has all its powers and authority. You're a sovereign, you have the power and authority to question your governance. You have the power, you need to use it. How do you use it? By questioning them. And when you question your government, you fulfill the second part of this uh, Section 14 to C, the participation. The participation by the people in the government shall be ensured in accordance with the provisions of this constitution. When you participate, when you question them and demand answers, you are participating in your government. It goes beyond just casting your vote every four years. This is what must happen. You need to keep your eyes on it. Kudos to this man for, for, share, for, for sharing this video. We are asking you, share it. Make sure it gets to Mr. Um, Dele, um, um, uh, to, to Dele Alaki. It must get to him. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching Citizen AY, the platform where we speak to the power. I'm going to share this broadcast, and I need you to do the same thing. I need you to share this broadcast. Subscribe to Citizen AY, hit the notification button, and of course, give us a thumbs up. So here we go. Subscribe to Citizen AY, hit the notification button, and of course, give us a thumbs up. Help us reach more people. Please share this. We need the Minister for uh, Solid Minerals, Dele Alaki, to take immediate action, to halt this. If it's been an agreement signed by the private yeah. previous government, they need to put an end to this memorandum of, of an understanding because this is actually disadvantageous to the citizens of Nigeria. We have to do this on the interest of the people. That contract is illegal. It's wrong for 40 trucks plus to be taken out, no inspection of what is being put in there, no accountability whatsoever, and the people are impoverished in their land. And then we, are, we, and we have the resources. That's the evidence. It's time we take collective action. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching this is NY, the platform where we speak truth power. Please share this broadcast. Once again, don't forget, subscribe to Citizen NY, hit the notification button, and of course, give us the thumbs up. Help us reach more people. Um, I've got some light in the background. I hope you can see my face a lot clearer. And um, you know, I, I hope um, you know you'll be seeing it. I'm doing some subtle changes here and there. Um, what do you think? Leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching. You've been watching Citizen AY, the platform where we speak to power. Please, when you get this podcast, it is important that you share it. And this kind of information, this kind of things, it is what we must begin to do. 
We need to begin to take collective action. We have the right to hold our governor to account. Let us take that action. By you questioning your government, you are participating in your government. Okay? Get used to it. Yeah. Let us teach each other. Each one teach one. You have the right to question your government. Indeed, it is your right to participate. When you question your government, you are participating in your governance. Let us take collective action now. No more excuses. Thank you very much. Please do share. You've been watching Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. Please share this broadcast. Thank you and bye for now.